Ooh, so hood niggas with guns 101. All right, check this out. Hood niggas with guns. Make sure your shit's clear. So that means pull it back, lock the slide, make sure there's no mag in there. Take your finger and I know it sounds stupid, but just like, okay, there's nothing in there because sometimes you can get a double feed, which means you'll feed two bullets in there. You'll click it, you'll go ahead and cock it back the slide. It will come out, but then the other one will still be in there. Make sure hood niggas with guns. Number two, hood niggas with guns. Don't shoot your gun like this. That is fucking stupid. If you shoot your gun sideways, there's no way to aim it. You are not supposed to aim like this. And you pull the trigger, boom, boom. That's fucking stupid. Then you're aiming with one hand. You have no control. So you bow, 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 bow. You're going to kill somebody you don't want to. Come, come on, bro. Like, if you're going to be a hood nigga with a gun, at least be responsible. Number two, don't muzzle anyone. I see people to be like, oh, it's empty. No, dumbass. Go under, around. If there's somebody sitting in front of me, I will under, around, even with an empty because of respect. I don't want to be fucking looking down the barrel of a nine all goddamn day. Okay, so. Last thing, hood niggas, stop carrying your gun in your waistband. So this is a CZ Rami 2075. Um, it has a hammer fire. Usually people carry striker fire weapons because hood niggas like Glocks because everybody talk about a Glock are ha usually fucking not hammer fire weapons unless the like person is into like 1911s and that sort and then like the big four or five caliber and I guess that's supposed to be like the best thing in the world to them. Okay, so CZ Rami. Do not carry your gun in your waistband. You put your gun in your waistband, you're going to shoot yourself. You know why? Because there's no block for the trigger. I wish I had my holster here with me. I do. Okay. So, this one is a super cheap Walmart holster that I'm carrying for like the next, I say week or two until I get another one. Cheap little Walmart holster. If I take this, put this inside of here, right? I just want to make sure that nothing can get into this guard. If you flip it upside down and it falls out, it's probably not a good holster. All right, so this is a cheap Walmart holster that you can get for very, very cheap. Now, this is going to protect the guard. Me, I don't carry like this because I feel like if you go ahead and have a situation where you have to pull it up and you pull it up and you... Touch that trigger, you're going to shoot. Me, personally, I carry quarter cock. Quarter cock, put my finger right here, let go of the trigger, and it stops right here. So before I shoot, it has to go backwards before it goes forward. So when I'm putting it up, I put my finger on the back, I go to my waist, I do it slowly, and if I feel this go back anyway, I'll stop so I know I won't shoot myself. I carry appendix sometimes, which is stupid. Don't carry appendix if you if you can manage it but if you are comfortable with your weapon and you know how it works carry however you want to if you are uncomfortable with that weapon do not carry an appendix because if you shoot yourself you will most likely die okay hood niggas out